This is the fourth year since 2003 that we are raising the alarm about unsafe and unsuitable housing in First Nations communities. Adequate housing is a basic human need. After four audit reports, I can honestly say that I am completely discouraged that so little has changed and that so many First Nations individuals and families continue to live in substandard homes. Time after time, whether in housing, policing, safe drinking water, or other critical areas, our audits of federal programs to support Canada's Indigenous peoples reveals a distressing and persistent pattern of failure. The lack of progress clearly demonstrates that the, government, the government's passive, siloed approach is ineffective and in fact contradicts the spirit of true reconciliation. A fundamental shift is urgently needed to drive significant progress in providing proper support to Indigenous families and communities across the country, especially those most in need who currently are too often left behind. Let's not forget that these systems were designed and rooted in uh, an attempt to extinguish indigeneity, in an attempt to control indigenous communities, and in an attempt many times to keep indigenous communities far away from urban centers. So it's about shifting an entire system. But changing a colonial system overnight is not easy uh, because the system has never been designed to be collaborative. And so I'm really proud of the work that the Prime Minister and my colleagues are doing to try to really push the entire system to change and reflect uh, how we better share decision-making, how we better share power, and how we better share resources in this country.